So if any of you don't want to watch through the whole video, and I wouldn't blame you, this video is probably going to be over an hour long. Maybe you're only interested in just seeing all of my 3x3s, or maybe it's just a, a few different uh, categories of puzzles that you're interested in seeing. If that's the case, just go into the description box. I've put a list of all of the categories of puzzles that are in this video. Find the category that, that you want, and then next to that category will be a timestamp. Click on the timestamp, and it will take you right there. So this is it, this is the video that a lot of you have been waiting for, this is my entire puzzle collection video. Um, quite a few people have asked me over the years uh, to make this video, and it's taken me quite a while to get around to it, but here we are. So, let's start off with the 2x2s. A keychain East Jean 2x2. A regular sized East Jean 2x2. A Maru 2x2. An Edison 2x2, a Hishu 2x2, a YJ Glow in the Dark 2x2, an MFA Prototype 2x2, which I think is just really, really cool. It seems like a decent 2x2 as well. And these stickers, they're not MFA stickers, these are stickers that I had to cut myself and, and put on it because there wasn't any stickers with this when I got it. A Yushin 2x2 with rat stickers. You might be thinking that I've taken the original stickers off it and I've kind of customised the cube itself. But no, these stickers are what were on the cube when I when I got it. They were put on at the uh, the Yushin factory. A Chi Dimension Cube. A Chi Gel Cube. A Lanlan 2x2. And this is the first ever 2x2 that I bought and it was back in around 2009. Uh, back then I didn't have that many puzzles at all, I only had about three or four I think altogether. Another Lanlan 2x2. A Funz Fangshi Shishuang 2x2. And I think this is a really nice looking 2x2. The interesting thing about this is that the tiles that are on it, well they're not actually on it, they're kind of inside it. They're actually underneath the, uh, the clear plastic rather than on top. A Dancheng 2x2, which is very crisp and crunchy, which I really like. A Rubik's Plush. This might look like a cuddly kind of novelty toy, but it is actually fully functional. You can scramble and solve it. And this is the biggest 2x2 that I've got. It's absolutely giant. It's a GAN 2x2, and I've still not got around to stickering this yet. To give you an idea of the size, I'm going to put a Lanlan 2x2 next to it. I think this is a regular size 2x2. So this is the only 2x2 sticker mod that I own. It's the Aldi Atom or Molecule 2x2. And some of you might be thinking, how is it a sticker mod? Because there's no stickers on it, isn't it a shape mod? Well, yeah, it is a really weird shape, but that doesn't affect the way it solves. It's the colour scheme which affects the way it solves. So it is basically like a sticker modded 2x2. And what really surprises me is that out of my whole puzzle collection, this one gets the most attention. I'm not really sure why. Don't get me wrong, I think it's cool. But I've got so many really unusual and rare and impressive puzzles. So I'm not really sure why it's this one that gets the most attention out of all of them. But yeah, a lot of people really want to know where they can get one. But unfortunately, these are pretty much impossible to get a hold of now. So, onto the 2x2 shape mods. And this is a Shengshao Keychain World Cup 2006 football. A Keychain Argentina World Cup football. There's a set of these. Each one has a different animal on them. And each one has different colours on them as well. A Shenzhou football. A Yushin globe. A Rubik's world. A Lim cube ghost cube. A Hello cube flat cube. A QJ dodecahedron. A Mosley flying shuttle. A Mosley pyramorphics. A Mosley Ardwolf. A Me Too Fangji Mirror Blocks. I can't remember what this one is called, but I'm sure it's made by YJ. A Dancheng Flying Mouse. A Puzzleheads Tweeter Bird. This is quite an old puzzle. It was made way back in 1999. A YJ Elephant. A YJ House. A YJ Lucky Cat. A Smiggle Scramble Heads Monster. A Smiggle Scrambled Heads Unicorn. A Yushin Mouse or Rat. This is stuffed by Steve's Heart and it's 3D printed. In its soul state you can turn it this way, but you can't turn it any other way. What you need to do is to line things up and then you can make other turns. 
a Chi robot head and another Chi robot head. All right, so onto the three by threes, and this is a Dian Tion, and there is Dian's old logo. Another Dian Tion, a Gu Hong, another Gu Hong, a Pom plastic Gu Hong. So the plastic that this is made from is a harder plastic than the last two Gu Hongs that I showed, and it sounds more clackety as well. A Gu Hong V2. A Ling Yun, a Ling Yun V2, a Lun Hoi, which is a tiny bit smaller than Dian's regular sized 3x3s, I'm not really sure why. An old plastic Zansha. The old plastic Zanshas are made from a softer plastic than the newer plastic or regular Zanshas, and a lot of Cubers prefer these older plastic ones. A newer plastic or regular plastic Zansha. These Zanshas are a lot more common than the old plastic ones. A smaller plastic Zansha, which has a black face instead of a white face, and I do prefer that actually, I think it looks quite good. An even smaller Zansha. And an even smaller Zansha. A Pancha, this is where it all kind of went wrong for Diane. I look at this as the Zansha's retarded cousin because it's just such a an odd, strange feeling cube. It's like, it's really bumpy. And when you're scrambling and solving it, sometimes it kind of, it kind of just goes like this, where you've kind of got like steps. It's just such a weird, odd three by three. And I also class this as the uh, Diane three by three killer because for a long time after this, Diane never really recovered. A Lun Hoi 2017, a Zansha 2017, a Zansha 2018, a Zhang Yun, and a limited edition Teng Yun. A Gu Hong knockoff, I think this is called Magic Friends or something, and even though the pieces are exactly the same shape as the pieces for a Gu Hong, it feels a lot different from a Gu Hong for some reason. A Zansha knockoff, I don't know what brand this is, I don't know what it's called, but again the same kind of thing with the Gu Hong knockoff, Pieces, they're exactly the same as the pieces for his Zansha, but it does feel quite different from his Zansha for some reason. A Hishu 3x3, this is like a really, really cheap 3x3, and it's my worst performing 3x3. It is just absolutely terrible. Look, just even trying to do the sexy move, it's like, it's pretty much impossible. Just a terrible 3x3. A much better Hishu 3x3. Another Hishu 3x3. A Hishu 3x3 with ridged edges. A Hishi 3x3 with painted on colours, and another Hishi 3x3 with painted on colours. But this one, it looks a bit more speed cuber than the, uh, the last one. A bigger Hishi 3x3, and another bigger Hishi 3x3. A really big Hishi 3x3. A mini Dansheng 3x3 with painted on colours. A bigger but yet still mini Dansheng 3x3 with painted on colours. A regular sized Dansheng 3x3 with painted on colours and can you believe like back in around 2007 you know like like with the East Chain these used to be some of the best or the best 3x3 speed cubes they were very popular. A Dansheng super big 3x3 with painted on colours and to give you an idea of the size of this I'll put a regular sized Dansheng 3x3 next to it. A Dansheng bigger than regular size 3x3. Another smaller than regular size Dansheng 3x3. I think this is called the Bubble Cube or something. A Dansheng 3x3. A Dansheng 3x3, which is a knockoff of a Gan Cube. I think it might be the 356 or 357 or something like that. Um, it, it does have a weird bumpy feel to it, kind of similar to the Pancha. Another Dansheng 3x3. And another Dansheng 3x3. This very much looks and feels like a modern speed cube and I'm sure it's magnetic as well. A Dansheng Spiral Cube. A Dansheng Bead Cube. A Chi Dimension Cube. A Chi Jelly Cube. A Chi Non Jelly Cube. A Chi DNA Cube. A Chi Big Sail. A Kung Fu Dot Cube and you get this little spade with it as well so you can take the tiles off and change the uh, the colour scheme. A Rubik's Cube. 
a Rubik's Cube which is for blind solving or people who are blind or you know, just solving in the dark or whatever. A Yushin 3x3 with painted on colours. A bigger Yushin 3x3. A Cube View metalised copper cube. A Cube View or Cube Twist Yin Yang cube. A limited edition Cube Twist Damning cube which is uh, mostly made out of metal. An absolutely gargantuan Cube Twist 3x3. Two QJ keyring 3x3s with painted on colours. A QJ Mini 3x3. Another QJ Mini 3x3. A QJ Pillowed 3x3. I've got no idea what the brand of this is or what the name of this is. It was basically a freebie. I'm not sure what the brand of this is, but it's basically a regular 3x3 which looks like a gear cube. MFA Legend 2. I think this is a Mi Long and it's obviously metalised. A Fansin Love 3x3. A Zawida 3x3. A YJ VV Goo 1. I think this is YJ's first ever 3x3 and it's glow in the dark as well. A YJ VV Goo 2. Two YJ VV Goo 3s. These are bigger than regular size and they're really nice and buttery feeling. A YJ Sulong. A YJ Dot Cube. Now this seems to be an extremely rare version. You can get these in clear plastic and clear black plastic. Um, I'm thinking maybe they're still common now. I bought this several years ago from Lightake and not that long after I thought I'd have a look to see if they were available anywhere else. I couldn't find them for sale anywhere else and when I went on to Lightake they were out of stock. So for whatever reason these are extremely rare. Maybe they are limited editions and what makes them extremely rare is because the plastic is skin coloured. And some of these tiles are different colours from the common uh, YJ dot cubes. Um, th I think it's this this lilac which is exclusive to this skin coloured one. And I think maybe there might be another colour, maybe the pink, I'm not really sure. A YJ ball cube. A YJ love cube. A mini YJ bread cube. A smaller mini YJ bread cube. And an even smaller YJ Mini Bread Cube, which is a keychain one. A Maru Mini 3x3. A Maru Nano Cube. A Gugia Alpha V1. I think this is the world's first ever 3x3 speed cube. A Mephits Crystal Assembler Cube. A Formula Cube, which I think is a rebranded YJ Sulong. A Big 3x3. I'm not sure what brand this is. A Shengshao Legend. A Wit Eden Keychain 3x3 and unbranded 3x3 and what makes this a really weird 3x3 is that within each cube is a coloured piece of paper, square coloured piece of paper which you can see which gives it its uh, colour scheme. A Gumeng Concaved 3x3 A Cubing Classroom Crystal Clover Cube An Edison Cube and this is another one of those really old speed cubes which used to be quite popular in the late 2000s. So now for the 3x3 picture cubes, and this is a Scarface cube. A Planet cube. A Hellraiser cube, which I can't solve. A Maru cube with Superseed gradient stickers. A Four Colour cube. A Rubin King cube. A Hello cube, Shepherd's cube and the uh, the sticker mod is painted onto it and this I find really really difficult, I can't actually solve it. Another Hello Cube, Shepherd's Cube where the uh, the sticker mod is painted onto it this one I find a lot easier because each side is a different colour. A Dice Cube A Dansheng Mahjong Cube and this is Glow in the Dark I think this is by Yushin, it's a light up cube and a lot of these don't hold a charge, mine doesn't so it's got like an on off switch there but the only way I can get this to light up is to either plug it into my computer or plug it into my jump starter and I'll turn it on now so you can see it lit up a hollow spiral cube and this is another sticker mod that I cannot solve a far solution cube a curvy maze cube, and this is another one of those ridiculously difficult sticker mods. A keychain Hello Kitty cube, and you might be able to see there a sticker is missing, but I do have that. I've put it in a safe place so it doesn't get lost. A barn cube. A Rubik's Passion cube, and this is unbelievably rare. It was a Toys R Us exclusive. 
years ago and it came in this very kind of girly looking case which even has like a mirror in it so you can do your makeup while you're solving the cube. So now it's time for the Void 3x3s and this is a Lanlan Void 3x3. Another Lanlan Void 3x3. A YJ Void 3x3. A Lanlan Edges Only Void 3x3. So this is just like a Void 3x3 except it doesn't have any corners. Alright so now it's time for the 3x3 shape mods and I've got an absolute ton of 3x3 shape mods and this is a glow in the dark YJ Fisher Cube. Another YJ Fisher Cube. A gold YJ Fisher Cube. A silver YJ Fisher Cube. A Calvin's Fisher Twist. A Moyu Unequal Twister Cube. A Fansin Twister Cube. A Hishu Windmill Cube. A YJ Glow in the Dark Windmill Cube. A Moyu Unequal Windmill Cube. A Cube Twist mix up one. This isn't actually a mix up puzzle, it's just what Cube Twist have named it. It's just simply a 3x3 shape mod. So I guess this is the Fisher version. It's a Cube Twist mix up two. A YJ Mirror Blocks. A Sheng Shao Mirror Blocks. A Two Solution Mirror Blocks. A YJ Unequal Cube. A Mose Non Fully Functional 3x3x5. A Mose Non Fully Functional 4x4. A Mose Pineapple Cube. A Mose Lethal Weapon. A Mose Stick Cube. A Mose Pyramid. A Mose Small Meteorite. A Mose Heart Linked Lock Cube. A Mose Watchtower. A Mose King's Cube. A Mephits Ghost Hedgehog Barrel. A Ninja Ghost Cube. A Zaisheng Ingot. Another Zaisheng Ingot. A Zaisheng Egg A Zaisheng Wedding Cake A Danshing Case Cube A Danshing Shield Cube A Danshing Blade Cube A Danshing Tank Diamond A Danshing Diamond A Gujia Diamond Another Gujia Diamond A Well Won't Toys Mini Diamond A YJ Diamond a Troy 3D Star A Gujia something I'm not really sure what it's supposed to be called Maybe a Tower or something like that A Mephits Master Morphix A Hishu Master Morphix A QJ Master Morphix 2 A YJ Master Morphix A YJ Heart A YJ Star A YJ Apple and my first ever Twisted Puzzle video on YouTube was an unboxing of this. A Fansin Apple. A Fansin Lemon. A QJ Dodecahedron. A QJ Octahedron. A QJ UFO. A Lanlan 6 Axis Cube. An Egg Pig. A Hishu Barrel. A Keychain Barrel, a keychain Penrose cube, a keychain deformed 3x3, a 3x3 shape mod that I've made myself from leftover parts. I just need to finish off the sticker and I need to get a green sticker there and a blue sticker there. A YJ 8 pointed star, a Moyu geometry cube, a Chi jelly axis cube and several 3D printed 3x3 shape mods which I've not yet assembled. Alright so now it's the 4x4s and this is a Chi Jelly Cube, a Chi Dimension Cube, a Hishu 4x4, another Hishu 4x4, a Pillowed Hishu 4x4, a QJ 4x4, a Pillowed QJ 4x4, a Weeden Type-C Mini 4x4, a Danshing 4x4 with painted on colours. A Danshing Bead 4x4. A Maru 4x4 version 1. A Maru 4x4 version 2. An East Jean 4x4 with glow in the dark stickers. A Shengxiao 4x4. Alright, so now for the 4x4 sticker mods and 4x4 shape mods. And this is a Shengxiao 4x4 with globe stickers, which I cannot solve at all. 
Here we have another Sheng Shao 4x4 and this has got Super Seed gradient stickers on it and as you can see I've done the, uh, the cube in a cube pattern on it which I think looks quite nice. A Chi 4x4 with Reuben King stickers. These are basically the original stickers that were on it. I just took them off, modified them by cutting through some of them and then put them back in this arrangement to make. So it's basically a normal 4x4 at first but I modified the stickers to make it into a Reuben King cube. Alright, so now we're onto the 4x4 shape mods, and this is a 3D printed 4x4 mirror blocks. This is a Dansheng hexagonal die pyramid, a Lanlan rhombic 4x4, a Lanlan mass cube, a Lanlan octahedron, and I cannot solve this. The furthest I can get is where I've got all of it solved except for something like two little triangles. A YJ megamorphics, and a YJ axis transformers cube. Alright, so onto the 5x5s, and this is a Hishu 5x5. A QJ Pillowed 5x5. A Danshing 5x5 with, yet again, painted on colours. A Maru 5x5. A Shengxiao 5x5, and I'm sure this was my first ever 5x5. A Chi Jelly Cube. A Chi Dimension Cube. A Calvin's and Tony Fisher 5x5 Ball. Alright, so here we have just one 5x5 sticker mod. This is basically a lizard cube and I cannot solve it because I'm just no good with solving the... Uh, I'm no good with solving 5x5 picture centres, if that's the right way of putting it. So onto the 5x5 shape mods and I've only got two of them. This is a 3D printed 5x5 mirror blocks. And here we have a Shengxiao Ultramorphics. Alright, so now for the rest of my n by n by ns sticker mods and shape mods. This is a Moyu Aosha, I've probably not pronounced that correctly, and it's a 6x6. Uh, a six six. Here is a 6x6 six six LSD cube, a Shengxiao 6 layer Master Morphix, a QJ pillowed glow in the dark 7x7. Seven seven. This is in a state of uh, disrepair because when I got it, one of the one of the stalks and one of the pieces, it was broken. I super glued it and the cube held up for several months but then it re-broke again so that's why it's kind of partly disassembled now. I'm not sure if I'll ever be able to fix it. A 7x7 V cube illusion cube. And a Shengxiao 8x8. And this is the highest I'm gonna go because I think I mean I do find this I do find it quite fun to solve, but you know it's quite a lot to solve and I think for me personally, if I was to go any bigger than this. I will probably find the cubes too tedious to solve, so I'll probably never get anything higher than an 8x8. Alright, so now it's time for the Pyraminxes, higher ordered Pyraminxes, and Pyraminx variations. And this is a Soviet Union Pyraminx for blind people. A Moser Pyraminx. A Hishu Pyraminx. And the unusual thing about this Pyraminx is that some of the triangles are smaller than other triangles. You can see these triangles look a lot bigger than these ones. Also it's got an orange face. I don't think I've ever seen an orange face on a Pyraminx before. A Shengxiao Pyraminx, and this is really snappy, which I quite like. A Dian Pyraminx. A Dian Pyraminx version 2. A CB Keychain Pyraminx. A Mephits Master Pyraminx. A Mephits Professor Pyraminx. A Mephits Royal Pyraminx in limited edition blue. A Mephits Jinx Pyraminx, a QJ Jinx Pyraminx, a Lee Fun Ghost Pyraminx, which I think is a Jinx Pyraminx shape mod, a Dian Jewel, which is basically a truncated Pyraminx, a Dian Corner Turning Octahedron with the uh, fish stickers, a Z Puzzle Volcano Cube, a Mephits Pyraminx Diamond 8 colour, and a QJ Pyraminx Crystal. Alright, so now it's time for the Mega Minxes and Variations, and this is a Mephits Killer Minx. This is basically a corners only Mega Minx. A QJ Mega Minx with glow in the dark stickers. A Shengxiao Mega Minx. A Dian Mega Minx. A Chi Galaxy Mega Minx, and it comes with these this like tile kit, so you've got different like types of tiles that you can put on it, and you can come up with your own colour scheme as well. A big MF8 Mega Minx, I think this is 9cm. So now it's time for the Mega Minx sticker mods, and I've only got two. This is a Spiral Mega Minx, and a Hexaworld Mega Minx. 
here is a Methods Void Megaminx and the holes don't actually make any parities that you wouldn't get on a regular Megaminx this just solves like a regular Megaminx so onto the Megaminx shape mods and this is a Methods Impossible it's basically a globe shaped corners only Megaminx a Calvin's Megaminx ball a Calvin's Hexaminx this is a Wit Eden 2x2 Megaminx so onto the higher ordered Megaminxes and this is an MFA Master Killerminx another MFA Master Killerminx an MFA Gigaminx a Shengshao Spiral Gigaminx so they're getting quite big now and this is an MFA Elite Killerminx a Shengshao Terraminx an MFA Petaminx and I think this is a limited edition because it is in clear red Alright so now it's time for the scubes and I don't have that many regular scubes to be honest for, for whatever reason but this is a Diane scube a Shengshao scube with glow in the dark stickers so next up are a couple of sticker mods and this is a QJ scube with globe stickers so here is the other sticker mod and this is a shape mod as well at the same time this is a Lan Lan diamond with earth stickers Alright so all the rest of my scube type puzzles are shape mods and this is a 3D printed scube mirror blocks a Chi twisty scube a Mosa beach ball a Mosa scube diamond a Mosa landmine a Mosa rugby ball a Mosa two layer treasure box a Mosa Mars fort a QJ Dodecahedron, a QJ Transformers, a Hishu Egg, I think this is just such a really nice looking puzzle, a Lan Lan Squished Scube, a Lan Lan Star, a Moyu Fisher Scube, a Mephits and Tony Fisher Golden Dodecahedron, I think this is a ghost scube, a ghost version of a scube, a Keychain Ivy Cube, I think this is basically a scube type puzzle. A keychain methods scube ball. And a Dion 7 axis scube. Alright, so now it's time for the square ones. And the square one is one of my all time favourite puzzles. I just love the way it looks when it's shape shifted. I love the way it feels to do certain like algorithms on it. You know, some algorithms just seem to kind of like flow, if you know what I mean, uh, on this particular puzzle. And I think they're just very fun to solve. And I've got quite a lot of them as well. And this is a MFA version 1 limited edition square 1 in green. An MFA version 1 square 1 in limited edition red. Two MFA version 2 square 1s. An MFA version 3 square 1. I think this is a Gugia square 1 with MFA stickers on it. A Calvin's Puzzle square 1. A YJ square 1. A Chi square one. So now it's time for the square one sticker mods. And even though this doesn't actually have stickers on it, I still class it as a sticker mod just because one half is black and the other half is white. And this is a Calvin's limited edition black and white square one. A cube twist square one with lined stickers. So when you solve this, you need to not only do you need to solve it back to its shape, but you need to make sure that the lines all match up with each other. And a Sheng Shao square one with either earth or globe stickers. Okay, so onto the square variants and our square one variants. And this is a master square one, 3D printed, and I've still not got around to assembling it yet. An NK3 mirror square one, and I've almost got this solved. I just need to swap these two pieces with each other. You can see that they're not quite flush with the rest of the layer. An ND square equal. A cube twist square two. So this is a modification that I made. Basically what I did is I went onto Lighttake and I bought an MFA four layer black and white super square one column. And I also bought a MFA four layer super square one black and white star. And they were very trivial to solve, very easy. And I didn't find them that fun. So I thought, well, maybe I could disassemble them and then reassemble them into two different puzzles, which are more challenging. And these are definitely more challenging. So this one, is basically when it's solved every layer is in the shape of an eye like this layer and one half is black and the other half is white this one is just simply cube shaped and uh, yeah when it's solved obviously one half is black and the other half is white 
Here is an MF8 4 layer super square one in limited edition glow in the dark plastic, an MF8 4 layer super square one column, an MF8 4 layer super square one star. I'm not really sure why this is unstickered, I can't even remember buying this. I don't know. I don't think I bought it unstickered. I think maybe I unstickered it myself and I was planning to do a sticker mod on it or something. I'm not really sure because it was quite a long time ago. A Chi 4 layer super square one column. A Chi 4 layer super square one star. Here is another modification that I made. I call this the, uh, the super square one two layer puck. I think maybe someone came up with the idea before me or I came up with the idea or I didn't know about that and I just came up with this idea myself and then I found out that someone else had made one before me. Can't really remember. But basically I made this by using the centre of a two layer QJ super square one. I took all these bits off it and then all these bits I took off an MF8 4 layer super square one. I think maybe it was cube shapes like this. It was all black and so, so these bits these edge bits are basically put onto this uh, QJ center. It was quite easy to make and um, I'm really proud of it actually. I'm really happy with how it's turned out. A QJ two layer super square one. A Dancheng two layer super square one star. Another Dancheng two layer super square one star. A Mephits Nautilus. I think these are leftover pieces from the four layer MF8 four layer super square one cube that I where I used the edges to make that modification that puck, and so I think this is what's left over, and I think I might be able to make a a four layer super square one star out of these bits. A 3D printed CME flopper super square four, and a Soviet Union Allegis. Alright so next up are the gear puzzles and a lot of them are not solved because I just haven't really got around to trying to solve them yet and this is a Z-Cube gear 2x2. A regular gear cube with these really nice chrome stickers. A Mephits XXL gear cube so it's a massive regular gear cube and it comes on this pallet as well which I think is a really nice touch. And to give you an idea of the size I will put a regular sized gear cube next to it. A Z cube gear cube V2, a Lanlan gear octahedron, a Lanlan gear hexagonal dipyramid, a Lanlan gear tetra decahedron, an Oscar and Tony Fisher and Lanlan gear change, a Lanlan gear dodecahedron, a Mephits gear reg, a Timur gear corner turning octahedron. A Mephits geared mix up, a Hishu geared pyramid, an unlegitimised gear 5x5 which comes with this free fan, a Calvin's gear cube in limited edition blue, and a Lanlan Valentine gear cube in limited edition ice green. Alright, so now it's time for the cuboids. I'm going to start off by showing the cubic cuboids, and this is a cube view 3x3x5. A cube view 3x3x6, a cube view 3x3x7, a Wit Eden 3x3x9 in limited edition blue, a Wit Eden roadblock, I'm not sure if this clear pink is, uh, is a limited edition or not, a Wit Eden roadblock 2, a Wit Eden roadblock 3. And now it's time for the sticker modded cuboids, so this is a cube view 3x3x4 with a wall sticker mod. A cube view 3x3x5 and a cube view 3x3x7. Alright, so now it's time for the cuboids, and this is a Z cube 2x2x1. A super 3x3x1, I can't remember what the brand of this is. A Lanlan 3x3x2, a cube twist 2x2x3, an MF8 2x3x4. A cube view 3x3x4, a Wit Eden 2x2x6, I use 4x4x3, an MF8 3x4x5, 
a Hunter Pillow 2x4x6 and this is in limited edition blue. I use 4x4x5. A Calvin's 4x4x6, it's in clear blue plastic so I don't know if that makes it a limited edition or not. A 3D printed 5x5x3. An Ayers 5x5x4. And a 3D printed 3x5x7. Next up are a couple of sticker modded cuboids and this is a Domino 3x3x2. I think this was made either by Danshing or Cube Twist. I can't really remember. I bought this in around 2013 and back then these were widely available. You know, it was quite easy to get a hold of one. And then after say like a year or whatever for some reason, they, they just seem to disappear off the face of the earth. So this is a really rare cuboid now. Here is a 1x2x5 cuboid with a sticker mod. Here is a Calvin's 4x4x6, it's a blue and white cuboid and I think its original solve state was like a checkerboard pattern but I guess you can have many solve states with this like the one that you're seeing now, I think it's quite a nice pattern on it. So next up are some sticker mod shape mod cuboids and this is a QJ 3x3x1 heart. Here is another QJ 3x3x1 heart and yet another 3x3x1 heart, I think this is by Chi. A keychain 1x3x2 Chinese knot, a 3x3x2 Chinese knot, and a Calvin's and Crazy Bad Cuba 4x4x6 Fisher Cuboid. So, next up are cuboids, which are just shape mods, and this is a 1x2x3 Christmas tree by Z Cube. Here is a 3x3x1 floppy mirror blocks. Here is a Danshang 3x3x1 fidget spinner. A Lanlan 3x3x2 pie. A Fansin 2x2x4 banana. This is a Cubeview 3x3x5. Now when I bought this, it was just like a normal cuboid shape. And I think it was all one colour. I think it just had all orange stickers on it and that was it. And I took the stickers off it. I moved the layers so it's in this configuration that you see now. And I thought it would be cool to sticker it like this. Unfortunately though, you can see I've run out of stickers and I've just not got around to uh, to getting any more for it. A Calvin's 3x3x5 Fisher Star. A Calvin's 3x3x5 Fisher Cuboid. A Calvin and Crazy Bad 4x4x6 Fisher Cuboid. This is the AJ Duo Axis Cube in limited edition red. I think this is basically a ghost cubic cuboid. I'm not really sure what n by n by n the cuboid is but um, I guess I should have showed this with my cubic cuboids but whatever. So now it's time for the off centre turning cuboids and what I mean by off centre turning is when you turn it you can see we've now got a bit sticking up there and there's like nothing there. So this is a, two, a Whit Eden 2x2x5 two by two by in limited edition glow in the dark plastic. A Whit Eden 2x2x5 in limited edition purple and this is a bit different from this one even though they're both off centre turning 2x2x5s because as you can see the off centre turning is a bit different so you've got like just one overhanging there whereas on this one you've got two so they're basically turning different places here is a Whit Eden 2x2x6 in limited edition purple and yeah these 2x2x6s they fall apart quite easily so I'm going to have to try and figure out a way of uh, fixing it so it doesn't fall apart so easily maybe I could use some glue or something a Whit Eden 3x3x4 a Whit Eden 3x3x5 version 2 and it's in limited edition clear blue plastic and lastly we have a Whit Eden 3x3x6 Alright, so now it's time to show my conjoined puzzles, and a conjoined puzzle is where you take two or more puzzles and just simply stick them together. Usually that will create bandaging, which will make the puzzle harder. Um, in this case though, the way these are stuck together, it's not created any bandaging, so they pretty much solve just like regular 2x2s. So this is a Lan Lan Siamese 2x2. Here is a Cube Twist Siamese 3x3. Another Cube Twist Siamese 3x3, and this one is, these two 3x3s are joined together a little bit differently from the uh, the two 3x3s on the last Siamese 3x3 that I showed, which is this one. So you can see they are joined together a little bit differently there. 
a cube twist Chinese 3x3, a quadruple 3x3, I'm not sure what the brand of these 3x3s are. I think this is a modification that someone made in China. And here is a cube twist sextuple 3x3. It's basically, it basically consists of six 3x3s joined together. Very cool looking over the top puzzle. So now it's time for my sticker modded conjoined cubes. And this is a, I think it's, I think these uh, two by twos are by East Sheen. And it's a decipal or decuple two by two. And so basically it's made up of 10 two by twos, keychain sized two by twos. A cube twist Siamese three by three. A bicolor Siamese 3x3. Very nice looking this one. And a bicolor Trimese 3x3. So next up are conjoined sticker mod shape mods and this is a QJ heart to heart. Another QJ heart to heart. And another QJ heart to heart. And yet another QJ heart to heart. So now it's just conjoined shape mods and this is a cube twist 3x3 and 3x3 three three barrel. A cube twist Siamese 3x3 three three star. A cube twist Siamese mirror blocks. A Yushin Siamese mirror blocks. Another cube twist Siamese mirror blocks. A cube twist Trimese mirror blocks. And I think this just looks really, really nice. So this is a cube twist tetrad mirror blocks. I think it's made with five mirror blocks. And I just think it's a really, really impressive looking over the top puzzle. So now it's time for all of my bandaged cubes and this is a cube twist bandaged 2x2 two two version 1. A cube twist bandaged 2x2 two two version 2. Two cube twist bandaged 3x3 three three kits. A keychain cube twist bandaged 3 cube. A keychain cube twist 3 slices cube. A keychain cube twist lucky baby. A keychain cube twist 2 bar cube. A keychain cube twist fused cube. A keychain cube twist bandaged and fused cube. Michael Womack's Nightmare bandaged cube, which is a really, really difficult puzzle. You can't actually see the bandaging on the outside of the puzzle, and that's because the bandaging is on the inside. A cube twist void bi cube. A cube twist void bandaged 3 cube. So now it's time for the bandaged 4x4s and this is a cube twist B244 cube. A cube twist B443A cube and you can see it's got that same parity on it which you can get with the uh, mix up 3x3. A cube twist wall slash burr cube and the reason why it's called wall slash burr cube is because it has two different solve states. One is a wall cube and the other is a burr cube and a cube twist AI cube. So now it's time for the bandaged 5x5s which I think just look really impressive and this is a cube twist maze cube. A cube twist bandaged centers cube. A cube twist B345 cube. A cube twist B355 cube. A cube twist B445 cube. A cube twist B455 cube, and the reason why it's in this plastic bag is because one of the tiles has come off. All I need to do is to just super glue it back on and it'll be fine. A cube twist wall cube, and you can see a lot of tiles have fallen off this one. Maybe the glue that we was using on this particular one wasn't that strong or something, or maybe the glue was just kind of old or whatever, I don't know. Okay, so now it's time for my other bandaged puzzles, and this is a cube twist bandaged pyraminx, which I think is a lot of fun to solve. I think I actually prefer solving this over a, uh, a regular pyraminx. A cube twist bandaged cube version 1. A cube twist bandaged cube version 2. This is either by cube style or Z cube and it's a bandaged 3x3x2. Three by three by it may not look bandaged and that's because the bandaging is inside. So now it's time for the super puzzles and a super puzzle is where you've got a circle or it can be any shape really on the puzzle and you can turn it like that. So this is a keychain super 2x2 shape mod and sticker mod. A Shengxiao super 2x2. A Shengxiao God of Freedom or a super 2x2x4 and these are pretty much impossible to get a hold of now. 
a Calvin Summer Super 3x3x5 and the reason why it's called a Summer Super is because you've only got two circles on the puzzle. A Calvin Super 3x3x5 and unlike the Summer Super puzzle this has circles all the way around the equator so it's got four of them all together. A Limcube Transform 2x2 Bamianta. A Limcube Transform 2x2 Layu Selling Ching. So the next lot of puzzles I've never really thought of as super puzzles, but I guess they actually are, now that I think of it. And this is a Funds Limcube Framework Pyraminx. A Limcube Pineapple, which I think is just such an awesome looking puzzle. A Speedcube Time Machine. A Moyu Wheel of Time. A Diane Wheel of Wisdom. A Classroom Maple Leaves Scube. A Classroom Polaris A Calvin's and Tony Fisher 3x3x5 Cross Cube A Wade and Super 3x3x5 Now the strange thing about this is that not only is it a super puzzle where you can turn the circle like that but it's also a circle puzzle as well because I can turn the outside layer and the circle stays where it is so that's quite strange but this basically bridges the gap between the super puzzles and the circle puzzles which are coming up next. Okay so now it's time for the circle puzzles and a circle puzzle is where all of the circles on the puzzle stay where they are when you turn the hour layer. So I think this is a modification of some of an MFA crazy puzzle that uh, that Calvin at HK Now Star has made and I've just noticed there that blue sticker is coming off. That's what you get when you when you've got loads of puzzles stacked on top of each other um, in boxes. But yeah, so this is a MFA Circle 3x3. An MFA 4 Circle 3x3. So you've got a circle on every face around the equator. And on the top and bottom, you don't have circles. And I think this is another modification by Calvin. I think this is called a Whedon Super 3x3. But it's not a super puzzle. It's a circle puzzle. So you've got a circle on the top face circle on the bottom face but you don't have any circles around the equator basically the opposite of the uh, the MFA 4 circle 3x3 a Whedon Super 3x3x4 it's not actually a super puzzle it's basically a circle puzzle as you can see an MFA Crazy 4x4 version 1 and again it's not actually a crazy puzzle it's a circle puzzle an MFA Crazy 4x4 version 3 and then here we have an MFA Circle Megaminx and again I think this is another modification by Calvin. So now it's time for my crazy puzzles and a crazy puzzle is basically a mixture of circle faces and locked circle faces. So a locked circle face is where when you turn the layer the circle turns with the outer layer and of course with a circle face, let's try and find one, with a circle face it stays where it is. So this is my full set of Diane and MFA Crazy 3x3s. And here I have another full set of Diane and MFA Crazy 3x3s. But I've modified a lot of these. I took a bunch of stickless Crazy 3x3s, disassembled them, then reassembled them in such a way so that every cube was just one colour. And then I bought some stickers from Oliver's Stickers and I stickered them. So we've got a red one, yellow, white, blue, orange, green. And then we've got just your regular stickless Crazy 3x3 and then another stickless Crazy 3x3 but it's in the new colours. So here we have the full set of Diane Bermuda cubes and it took me absolutely ages to balance these ones. So as you might be able to see some of these are still in the wrapping. I just haven't got around to unwrapping them yet. Got a massive backlog of puzzles and that's what happens when you're buying way more puzzles than the uh, than the amount of puzzles that he's trying to solve each week. So we've got the special uh, Bermuda cubes, so the special shaped ones. We've got the barrel there, the star, the two houses, and then we've got the uh, the regular Bermuda cubes. Here is the full set of Diane and MFA Crazy tetrahedrons. A full set of Diane and MFA Crazy Megaminxes. A full set of Dan and MFA Bermuda minxes, and this primary one 
is extremely rare. A full set of Dan and MFA crazy pentahedrons. These two are basically standard ones, but I still class them as part of the set for whatever reason. A full set of Dan and MFA crazy octahedrons. Again, we've got a standard one here, but you know I just class it as being part of the set. And yeah, I remember seeing a primary one for sale at HK Now Store a very long time ago, and I wish I had bought it now because it would have been cool to have a set of these which consist of stickless ones, black stickered ones, and at least one stickered primary one. A Dan Cheng crazy 3x3x2 and a Diane Crazy 3x3x2. So next up is the full set of weed and camouflage cubes and a camouflage cube has off centre turning like that. So this is a weed and camouflage 2x2x3 version 1. A weed and camouflage 2x2x3 version 2. A weed and camouflage 2x3x4. A weed and camouflage 3x3. A weed and camouflage 3x3x2. A weed and camouflage 3x3x4. And a weed and camouflage 4x4x3. So the next two weed and puzzles I'm going to show look like camouflage cubes, but they're actually not because they don't have any off centre turning. So this is a weed and square, I think it's called, 2x2x4. And once again, it looks like a camouflage cube, but it's actually not, as you can see. This is a Weeden 4x4x2. So now it's time for the mix-up cubes, and this is an Oscar and Weeden mix-up 3x3 in limited edition orange. A Reuben King Oscar and Weeden mix-up 3x3, and this is a sticker mod that I did myself. I just took the original stickers off the puzzle, and then I cut some of them up and then put them on in such a way that it is now a, uh, a Reuben King mix-up 3x3. A Weeden mix up 4x4. Four four. A Weeden 3x3x4 mix up. A Weeden 4x4x3 four four mix up. So now it's time for the mix up plus cubes, and this is a Weeden 3x3 three three mix up plus. A 4x4 four four mix up plus. A 3x3x4 three three mix up plus. A 4x4x3 four four mix up plus. So now it's time for the master mix-ups, which I think look really impressive. And this is a Funz Limcube Master Mix-up 1. A Funz Limcube Master Mix-up 2. And this shows you just how crazy they can end up looking when you scramble them. And these white ones are extremely rare. I don't know if they were just trial versions or whether they were limited editions or whatever. And a Funz Limcube Master Mix-up 4. A Funz Limcube Ultimate Mix-Up in Limited Edition Clear Plastic. And a Mike Ambrust and MFA Sun Mum. So now it's time for the Mix-Up Shape Mods and this is a Weeden Octahedral Mix-Up 1. A Weeden Octahedral Mix-Up 2. A Weeden Octahedral Mix-Up 1 Plus in Limited Edition Blue. And a Weed and Octahedral Mix Up 2 Plus in Limited Edition Clear Plastic. So here is my full set of Diane Gems, and this is a Diane Gem 1. A Diane Gem 2. A prototype Diane Gem 3, and only 100 of these were made in pink plastic. Another prototype Diane Gem 3, and again, only 100 of these were made in blue plastic. A Diane Gem 4. Another Dying Gem 4, and this one is in limited edition ice green, which is extremely rare. Unfortunately though, one day when I was playing around with it, it exploded, so that's why it's in pieces in this bag. A Dying Gem 5 in limited edition ice purple. A Dying Gem 6, and I think it just looks really nice with these stickers on it. So these are not the original stickers on it. The, um, the When it had the original stickers on it, the little ones, they kept falling off, so I just took all of the stickers off it, and I ended up getting some stickers from Oliver's stickers, and now I think it just looks absolutely great. A Diane Gem 7. And then lastly, we have a Diane Gem 8. So now it's time for the Rex puzzles, and this is a Lan Lan Rex Cube. A Lan Lan Rex Cube with eye stickers. 
a Lon Lon Master Scoob, a Diane Master Scoob, which is a different puzzle from the Lon Lon Master Scoob, even though it's got the same name and it looks the same, and this is in limited edition Ice Pink, a Diane Dino F Scoob, an MF8 Bauhinia in limited edition Ice Purple, and I think this just looks really nice in Ice Purple. And AJ Bauhinia 2 in limited edition orange. Okay, so onto the dino puzzles, and this is either by Smouse or MFA, I can't really remember, it's a dino cube, and it's got replica dino cube stickers on it. So basically, the original dino cubes that came out, I think it was in the 80s, they had these stickers on them, and these are basically replica stickers that I got from Oliver's stickers. A Calvin's Curvy Dino Cube in limited edition brown, an MFA Star Minx in limited edition ice blue. A Moyu Ready Minx. So this is basically the same puzzle as the uh, the MF8 Star Minx, except instead of straight lines, you've got curved lines, but it solves exactly the same. A Long Long Four Leaf Clover Cube. A Smaz Dino Cylinder. A Calvin's Lattice Cube in limited edition blue. A 3D printed Christian's Dino Plus. A Long Long Curvy Dino Cube. An AJ Curvy Dino 4x4. An AJ Curvy Dino Dodecahedron. An MFA Grills 2. A 4x4x5 Bubloid in limited edition blue. And a 5x5x4 Bubloid. So next up are the helicopter puzzles, and these are two Lon Lon helicopter cubes. A Lon Lon Curvy Copter. A Smaz Curvy Chop. A Mephits and Tom Z Curvy Copter Plus. An MFA Curvy Copter 3 in ice green. An MFA Curvy Copter Plus 3x3 in limited edition primary. Yeah, this is a very disappointing puzzle for me. Um, because for one, the centres actually fall <laughs> into the puzzle while you're trying to solve it. And for another, it just solves basically like a simplified 3x3 and a regular Curvy Copter. So if you've already got a 3x3 and a Curvy Copter, this puzzle is just kind of pointless because it doesn't really add anything to those. A Lon Lon Flower Copter and an MF8 Helicopter Dodecahedron in limited edition primary. So next up are the Clover puzzles and I guess these are helicopter type puzzles maybe. But anyway, this is a Very Puzzle Clover Cube. A Very Puzzle Clover Dodecahedron in limited edition pink. Another Very Puzzle Clover Dodecahedron and this one is in limited edition eye shallow. A very Puzzle Clover Octahedron in Limited Edition Ice Red. A Very Puzzle Clover Octahedron Fragmentation. Another Very Puzzle Clover Octahedron Fragmentation. A Very Puzzle Clover Icosahedron. Another Very Puzzle Clover Icosahedron, but this one is in Limited Edition Ice Blue, and I've given this one a gradient colour scheme. So now it's time for all of my miscellaneous puzzles, and this is an Alexander Star. And uh, some of them have the colours painted on, like this one, and others have stickers on them. A Very Puzzle Superstar, which I think is just such an awesome looking puzzle. It's like a higher ordered version of the Alexander Star. A Diane 30 Axis in limited edition clear plastic. A Diane Tangram in limited edition ice purple. A Diane Tangram Extreme in limited edition ice blue. A 3D printed David Pitcher Andromeda Cube. A Diane 12 Axis Bai Yi Nile Cube. A Diane 16 Axis Shuang Fi Yan, I'll probably pronounce that wrong, in limited edition ice green. An Alde Soul Pill. A Diane Axis Ball. A Dan Sheng Cake Cube. Ayes Four Layer Cheese. A YJ Star Barrel. A Glow in the Dark Plastic YJ Rainbow Cube. Which I think is a really, really fun puzzle, even though it's very easy to solve. Usually with puzzles that I find very easy to solve, I don't enjoy them that much, but for some reason I really enjoy this one. A YJ Rainbow Cube with Fish Stickers. A 3D printed Penta Prisma. A 3D printed Pyramid. I think maybe this is a Fisher Cube shape mod, or it has some kind of a relation to the Fisher Cube. A 3D printed ND hexagonal triprism. 
a 3D printed micro split hexagonal domino, a 3D printed micro octagonal domino, a 3D printed micro prisminx, a Limcube Dual 3x3 version 1 in limited edition primary, a 3x3 latch cube which is incredibly difficult, a Tony Fisher and Calvin overlapping cube, an MFA multi dodecahedron in limited edition primary, an Oscar and Lan Lan Crazy Comet, a Mephits four colour pocket cube, a Down 16 axis hexadecagon in limited edition primary, a Down 12 axis hexadecagon in limited edition ice pink, and the reason why I've not finished off stickering this is because one sheet of stickers were missing. A 3D printed Eaton's Radio Cube 3. A Very Puzzle VTI. A Very Puzzle Gigatutminx. A Very Puzzle Lovebird. An MFA Eaton Star in Limited Edition Ice Red. An MFA Icosiax in Limited Edition Ice Green. An MFA Radio Larian. A Calvin's Picture Octostar in Limited Edition Blue. A Diane and MFA Bagua Cube in Limited Edition Ice Orange. An MFA Sun Cube in Limited Edition Primary. An MFA Sun Cube in Limited Edition Ice Blue. An MFA Bandaged Sun Cube in Limited Edition Primary. An MFA Unicorn Cube. A Calvin's and Picture Insanity Cube. Another Calvin's and Pitcher Insanity Cube, but this time it's metalised gold, which I think just looks really, really nice. A Limcube Simplified Drydel. A Limcube 3x3 Drydel. A Rubik's UFO. An MFA Heaven's Eyes in Limited Edition Primary, and I think this is just such an impressive, substantial looking puzzle. Very big and chunky and kind of heavy. A Cube for You Element Series Chromium Cube. A Very Puzzle Classical Tupminx. An MF8 13th Anniversary Commemorative Pentultimate in Limited Edition Eyeshallow. In fact, I think just the fact that it's a, a Commemorative Pentultimate makes it a Limited Edition. Unfortunately though, when I was messing about with this, it just basically split in half, so that's why it's in this bag. A Fangshi Void Star Wheel Dodecahedron. And I think, yeah, this is 3D printed. An MFA Star Minx. An MFA Curvy Star Minx. A Lanlan 12 Axis Cube. And this is in primary plastic. It's very rare to see a, a Lanlan puzzle in primary plastic. I think this might actually be a prototype. An MFA Void Pentultimate in limited edition Ice Rad. An MFA Master Pentultimate. And the cool thing about this is that you can take the centre caps off and then you've got a void puzzle and MFA pentagram a three layer triangular and I think this was made by HK Now Store it's a very unusual puzzle and it's very easy to solve as well a landlon face turning octahedron a master ball a nature platypus now the next three puzzles I guess you could barely call them twisted puzzles like this 12 axis whip ball so I mean it, it twists and everything it turns round and stuff but you know it's just kind of I don't know is it really a twisted puzzle I'm not really sure a Mobius line and again it's like can you really class it as a twisted puzzle I'm not really sure I mean this is how it turns so maybe you can class it as one not really sure a pyramorphix eight color flip and then lastly we have this Varia UFO, which does seem a lot more like a twisted puzzle. I mean you can turn you can turn these bits like that and then you can turn this bit and everything, so. So now it's time for the magic snakes, and these are two giant and very old Hungarian 24-piece magic snakes made by Politoys in 1981. So they're both 40 years old. And I'll show you how the size of one of these compares to a regular Rubik's Magic Snake or Rubik's Twist 24 pieces. So here is your Rubik's Twist. 
and you can see the size difference there. A Rubik's 24 piece Magic Snake. A Shengshao 24 piece Magic Snake. A Smiggle Light Up 24 piece Magic Snake. A Smiggle Glow in the Dark 24 piece Magic Snake. A very old Soviet Russian 24 piece Magic Snake corrugated so you can see like this uh, this corrugation or whatever you call it there and then these bits they kind of look like wafers moving on to the weirdly shaped 24 piece magic snakes and this is a Diane Cheng concaved 24 piece magic snake an unbranded mini rounded 24 piece magic snake a Nanlong mini rounded 24 piece magic snake which is a little bit bigger than the last one that I showed a big size He Shu rounded 24 piece magic snake a Guangsuda oval 24 piece magic snake and when you're turning this it has several more stopping points over regular magic snakes an angular shaped He Shu 24 piece magic snake a Rhoda ruler plum 24 piece magic snake a Dan Cheng heart shaped 24 piece magic snake a Chi 36 piece magic snake an unbranded mini 36 piece magic snake a Danshing heart shaped 36 piece magic snake a YJ 48 piece magic snake an unbranded mini 48 piece magic snake a G Young G Yang Wa 60 piece magic snake a Danshing 72 piece snake a Danshing 84 piece snake a Changshun 96 piece snake a Zinlexin 108 piece snake a Changshun 120 piece snake so they're starting to get pretty big now this is a Danshen 144 piece snake so not only are they starting to get pretty big they're actually starting to feel pretty damned heavy this feels quite heavy and this is a Zinlexin 192 piece snake and then lastly we have the biggest magic snake in the world this is a Danshang 240 piece magic snake so the next lot of snakes that I'm going to show are not magic snakes they're different types of snakes and this is a kibble cube a Mosey snake cube or flip flop a Polytechnica Inca version B a Bogner's Inca Chewing Gum in Russian. Alright, so onto the ball puzzles, and I've got quite a few of these. This is a Bogner Buvos Goliok, quite a strange name, but I do quite like the name. A Soviet 10 billion barrel. A Planets Puzzle. A Symmetric Classic. A Binary Arts Diamond Bob's 8 Ball. A Fox Mind Super Brain Spinner. A Gerdig UFO. Hungarian Rings. Hungarian Olympic Rings. A KO Labyrinth. This is probably the oldest puzzle in my collection, not just my collection of ball puzzles, but all puzzles, and it was made in 1971. This is a Kona Brothers Heartache. An MFA and Rocks Pioneer Pyramid. A Mover Ball. Rubik's Rings. A Scaper Entrapment. A Soviet Union Swash Dutch Ka. Four Soviet Union Telephone Chicks. The Orb. Tower of Babel. A Soviet Union Varrican 7. A CB Magic Tower Piggy Bank. A Turbo Mind Twister. A Magical Dish. And a Bananacus. So onto the Dexterity Games. Now Dexterity Games are not really puzzles but I kind of class them as the same thing for some reason. I'm not really sure why. I keep these in, in the same boxes that I keep my puzzles in. These are more about hand-to-eye coordination, so 
First what I'm going to show are the intellect balls and intellect balls basically contain mazes inside and you've got to guide a ball bearing around them and this is a keychain one. A heart shaped keychain intellect ball, another keychain intellect ball, a globe style intellect ball, a bigger intellect ball which has gears, you might be able to see them turning there so you can actually turn um, each of the domes on it. An even bigger intellect ball and an even bigger intellect ball. So that was all of the intellect balls. This is a Scormore Mushroom 6 which I think is from the 70s. A very puzzle obscure maze. This is a very small dexterity game. So basically you've got a ball bearing inside and a maze and you can see the maze has been put onto the plastic so you can see it and you've got two holes one is the start, the other is the finish. I guess any can be the start and any can be the finish. And so basically when the ball bearing is at the start or when it's at the finish, you'll be able to see it in one of these holes. A Tommy Monstrous Maze and a Mercury Maze. A Soviet Sputnik Maze Game. A Russian Piano. A Bow and Docks Dexterity Game. A set of Chadwick Mind Teaser games. A set of Glitter Cube Mind Teasers. A set of Mini Gedulds Spiels. I think that's how you meant to pronounce it. I think these are from Germany. A Chicken Nest Dexterity game. A Horse or Deer with a Rock Dexterity game. A Lost Impossibles Crane. A Lost Impossibles Breakfast. Okay, so onto the water dexterity games, which I think are really cool, but with a lot of these, the water is actually dried up. So this is a Kellogg's Frosties water baffler, another Kellogg's Frosties water baffler, and another Kellogg's Frosties water baffler. And you can see with this one, the bung, it's just completely disintegrated there and it's completely dried up. So next up are the Long Crane Broxton water dexterity games, and this is a cocktail one. A Gumball Water Dexterity Game, a Perrier Water Dexterity Game, a Candy Jar Water Dexterity Game, a Dog Water Dexterity Game, a Cigarette Water Dexterity Game, a Long Crane and Broxton Champagne Puzzle, and of course it's dried up, there's no water in there anymore. This was made uh, way back in 1982, so the water is completely dried up now. A Blue Lagoon Water Dexterity Game, and an Upwardly Mobile Water Dexterity Game. Alright, so now it's time for my miscellaneous non twisted puzzles, and this is a recent toys worm and apple. A recent toys bronco. A Rubik's dice. A Magellan. An MB tuned in. And a Matchbox Rubik's clock. So, onto the wire disentanglement puzzles. I've got 18 in this tub. And here they all are. And then we have this one which didn't come in the tub, it's one that I bought separately. It's basically a star shaped one, which I find very, very difficult. So next up are some cast puzzles. I don't actually have that many of these, but I do like them. So this is basically a lock and key. Here we have two keys which were originally joined together. The object of this puzzle is obviously to just take them apart. A crab and a fish ring, and a bunch of arrows through a heart. Alright, so now it's time for all of my magics, and I do like magics quite a lot. I think the fun to just mess around with, to scramble, to solve. And these used to be quite popular with Cubers many years ago, but then the WCA, or whatever it's called, they dropped the magic events, and I think that's what made them become not popular anymore with Cubers. Anyway, this is a Lingal Magic. Here we have another Lingal Magic, a glow-in-the-dark Lingal Magic, and you might be able to see that the the, uh, the plastic is kind of green. A Busted Mini Magic, so you can see the string there, it's broken. This is something that unfortunately can happen with Magics, but I've fixed string on Magics before, so I'll be able to fix this one. I think this one is by Lingal. Another Mini Lingal Magic, and another Mini Lingal Magic. 
So I was very surprised when I saw this one online because it's a magic by Dan Cheng. I didn't even know these existed. A Z rung magic. A cube twist magic. A Mosley magic. And this one is made from really thick panels. A time ball magic. And I'm going to show the other side of this because the actual pattern on the other side isn't the same kind of pattern as what's on the front, as you can see. Another time ball magic with yet another pattern on it. And of course on the back, the pattern is different as well. A Royu magic. An Expo 2010 Shanghai China magic. This is kind of a strange magic in that it's only made up of four panels. It's made up of less panels than regular magics. And this is a Rubik's Kellogg's Raisin Splits magic. So now it's time for the Master Magics. And this is a Ghost Hand Master Magic. A Lingao Master Magic. A Cube Twist Master Magic. This one's a bit scrambled. I think this is by Gugia, a Gugia Master Magic. Another Master Magic, which I think is by Gugia. And a Custom Master Magic that I made myself. A Lingao Chess Super Master Magic. And lastly, we have this massive Lingao 20 panel magic. I'm not really sure what the proper name is for this. So onto the tile sliders, and this is a Fancy Animal 8 tile slider. A Tanker 14 tile slider. A Ford 15 tile slider. A Pram 16 tile slider. A Calculator 16 tile slider. A Telexmate 36 tile slider. A Mouse 49 tile slider. A Soviet Ramka. A Razer. A Rudenko Matrioska. A Missing Link. Another missing link. I think this is called a Missing Link Deluxe and I think it's a limited edition. A Missing Link Knockoff. Another Missing Link Knockoff. And what I really like about this one is that it's got chrome links on it which I think look really nice. And yet another Missing Link Knockoff and this one is called a Link Puzzler. A keychain missing link. I'm not sure if this is a knockoff or not. A seven layer rotating slide magic tower. Two mini knockoff whippets. A keychain sliding tile soda can. A sliding tile diet coke can. A sliding tile Pepsi can. And you can actually take the top off this to stash something in it, if you want to hide something. A really big Glenlivet sliding tile bottle. The Little Bear Logical Toy by Auto Comp, 1992. Recent toys, you and Mona Lisa. So the goal of this is to get a big picture of the Mona Lisa. Each of these blocks have got like different pictures in them and they've got mirrors and stuff. A three layer leash -o. A four layer leash -o. A Magnif Saturn Puzzler. A Brain Ball. A Hungarian Globe. A V Sphere. An Otto Wu Seven Colour Massage Ball, Japanese edition. A Buzzle Ball. A Sherman McDonald's toy. A 3D printed Wallabers two at a time. A Saturn ring. A Brainwright Rudenko's disc. A Binary Arts number crunch. Diamond Bob's nine ball puzzle. A Soviet game seven. A trillion puzzle. A lockout. A binary arts port to port. A tri trick. Alright, so onto the 2D Turner puzzles, and this is a very puzzle geranium. A very puzzle geranium Olympic. 
a very puzzled geranium butterfly. And then we have this absolutely massive very puzzled geranium W. I don't know why they've called it a W, but this puzzle is so difficult I can't even properly scramble it. There's loads of bits, you know, that need to be that still need to be separated, and I'm just finding it very, very difficult to separate them. A vitriol, a roto 36, a number swing, an Eliak, a Japanese puzzle Avenger. A Logikai JTEC Mandala, a Rotos, a Rash Key 2, a Rash Key 3, an Enigma, another Enigma, and a Soviet Gamma or Colour Spectre. Alright, so on to the jigsaw puzzles. Now, the strange thing is, is that I do quite like jigsaw puzzles, so I'm not really sure why I've got so few. Anyway, this is a Paladon layered pizza jigsaw. A Magnif scrambled egg. A Long Crane Broxton wine perception puzzle. A Very Puzzle bubble jigsaw. And a Sardines puzzle, which I guess you would say is more of a packing puzzle than a jigsaw, but it's the same kind of thing as a jigsaw. Alright, so onto the block sliders. I've only got three of these. This is a Varrican box 2x2, two two, a Varrican box 3x3, three three, and a Mosa black hole. Alright, so onto the block pushers, and this is an inside out of a Daz Cocker 2x2, two two. an inside out 3x3, three three, an inside out 4x4. Four an inside out rainbow 3x3 three three, and an inside out rainbow 4x4 four four. Alright so next up are all of my Kongming locks A Kongming lock is basically a take apart and put together puzzle Now I think there's about 18 Kongming locks here They're all disassembled I don't really think there's much point in me showing them individually because they're all just like basically random shaped pieces of plastic and wood Alright, so now for the coming locks which are assembled, and this is a naval mine. I guess you would call this a star. A key, which I think looks really cool. I'm not sure what to call this one, and I'm not sure what brand it is. Some gears, which I think is a really nice looking Kongming lock. Next up are a bunch of U-pin keychain Kongming locks. And I guess you would call this a, a hexagonal barrel, maybe. Here we have a heart-shaped one. A barrel. A penrose. This reminds me of like weights in old cartoons. They'd usually be shapes like this and they'd be black and they'd have like 100 tons written on them in white writing or whatever. A rounded cube, a star shaped one. This one looks like a cube with no corners. A pumpkin. This one looks like a 24 piece magic snake made into a ball. A diamond. And a ball. A QJ Kongming lock, a glow in the dark QJ Kongming lock, another QJ glow in the dark Kongming lock, and another, and another, and another. And there's something rattling about inside this, I think it's a ball that he meant to release. A Dancheng Kongming lock. Another Dancheng Kongming lock. If I knew this was disassembled, I would have had it in the pile of my other disassembled Kongming locks. The last time I saw this, it was assembled, but it's like been in a bag with a bunch of other puzzles. So I think I must have accidentally knocked this or something and it's come apart. So I can't believe I'm almost at the end of the video. There's just three more puzzles to show and then I'll have shown every single puzzle in my collection. And this is a KU Kongming lock. 
another KU combing lock which should have been with my other disassembled combing locks that I showed before. So this is the last puzzle. This is another KU combing lock in the shape of a Chinese building which I just think looks really really nice. So yeah that that is it you know I've shown every single puzzle in my collection. You know I don't think that many people will be left still watching this video now and I don't really blame them because this video is probably going to be over an hour long but yeah you know making this video it's been a lot of hard work and it's been really time consuming but yeah you know some of it's been fun some of it's been very tedious but I'm just glad that that this is it I've pretty much finished uh, making the video well except for the fact that I'm going to need to edit this footage you know the footage of the coming locks and the block pu block pushers and uh, and then that's it the video will be ready to uh, to be published and then uploaded to YouTube so yeah that is pretty much it thanks for watching